am Stephanie Arnold. I am a Team Beach Body Coach, and I'm here to walk you through what our four vital, vital behaviors are as Beach Body Coaches. And these are the things that you need to make habits of on a daily basis if you want to be successful in this business and you want to grow um, some financial freedom for you and for your family. They're habits now that I've created for myself and teach within our team, and I've seen such amazing things come for them from myself. So I love sharing these with you. So. I'm just going to dive straight in, right, because there's four of them. The first one of our vital behaviors is personal development. And this is probably, honestly, the hardest one and the one I get the most pushback on. Because before I was a beach buddy coach and I heard about personal development, I immediately saw it, thought of, like, self-help. Like, I don't need self-help help. Can I say that? self help books. <laughs> I was never one to read those kind of books. I always liked my Harry Potters and my Twilight and um, Hunger Games and those kind of books to, to kind of escape reality, right? I never focused on books that would make me better. I didn't think that I needed to be better. But when you think about it, that's totally ego talking, right? That is totally your pride telling you that I don't need to read a book on parenting because I'm a freaking awesome mom, right? I don't need to look at, read a book about marriages because my marriage is freaking awesome and we never fight and my marriage is perfect, right? We like to think those things sometimes, but we're wrong. <laughs> I am not a perfect parent. I always my hand. I have fights in my marriage. I disagree with my spouse. We get in fights. It happens, right? Nobody's perfect. And so I want you to just kind of take an evaluation of where you're at in your life right now and where can you, where do you need to be better, right? So for me, that, I mean, and there's so many different topics, right? There's financially, right? If you're not taking good care of yourself and your family financially, maybe you need to educate yourself on how to better budget and how to take care of your finances for your family. Maybe it's personal, right? Maybe it is relational with your husband or maybe it's parenting. Maybe it is spiritual. Maybe it's relationship with God. You want to strengthen that bond, right? And maybe it's professional, right? So many of the books that I read when I first became a coach were how to use social media to build a business, how to post on social media to attract people to you, how to use, um, how to be a leader, right? Because once you become a coach, one of your first goals is to become an Emerald coach, which means that you have two coaches on your team already, which means that you have somebody to lead, right? And every time you sign up a customer, that person is counting on you to lead them. So I've read books on leadership and, and all those kind of things. So you'll kind of figure out as you go, where are your holes, like where, where are you missing information that you need to learn about? And that's what personal development is. It's just making, being intentional about spending five to 10 minutes a day, making yourself better. Right. And like gave you tons of different topics to, to look at. One of my very first books that I recommend to all of our coaches, and there is a link for it in this group is to um, read the slight edge or the compound effect. Those are two great books that will show you the benefit of creating these small habits over time and how they just completely change the trajectory of your life. And I've watched that already happen to my life in just three years of where I'm at today versus where I was when I, before I became a coach. Like if I was continuing on that path that I was on, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now in my marriage, in my business, in my parenting style. Like I would be on a completely different playing field. So I, w I want you to kind of take a look at where you're at, evaluate that. But if you're not ready to do that just yet, go ahead and get started with the compound effect or slight edge. Um, we do have them in PDF form for you. Um, if you want to download those from the group or you can buy them on Amazon, download the audiobooks. You can listen to it any way you want. Um, one of the big ex excuses that I get for not doing personal development is time. So I want to challenge you. Make the freaking time to take care of you because when you are starting a business, right, you're going to have clients soon if you don't already. You're going to have coaches on your team that are looking to you for support and mentorship. And how are you supposed to lead them anywhere if you aren't putting in the work, if you don't have anything to give them, right, if you don't have any new information on how to help them. So make sure that you're investing in yourself in this way, right? And this can be five to 10 minutes a day. You can sit with a book on the couch. If you have to wake up earlier than your kids or, you know, a few minutes earlier than your normal routine, try it. You know, if you do audio, if you like to listen to audio, I love that as a mom, as a mom that's trying to run a business and be a stay at home mom and be married and have a social life. Like my, I'm, my day is crazy. So I have downloaded um, the app Audible on my phone and I can just pop in headphones and I will listen to a book while I'm folding laundry, while I'm doing dishes, while I'm driving the car, while I'm out for a walk with the dog. 
I constantly have something that I'm listening to that's making me better. I even listen to it actually. I balance my phone like on the shower top <laughs> of our shower so I can and put the speaker up really high and I listen to something while I'm in the shower, right? Or when I'm putting makeup on in the bathroom. I always have something and, and it's kind of replaced music almost in a lot of areas. I still like music. I still listen to it. But when the times that I would typically do that or have the TV on in the background, I now have personal development. So I'm getting smarter and stronger and building up my mental capacity to help others. So that is our first vital behavior as a coach, is making time for personal development and making that a priority in your life. The second vital behavior as a Beachbody coach is being a product of the product. And this is kind of threefold because, or I guess it can be even bigger than that, because we have a full, we have a huge product line, right? Our number one continuity product is Shakeology. So if you're not drinking Shakeology, this is part of why we um, push not push, why we encourage people to start with a challenge pack, especially as a coach. So you can try Shakeology with a fitness program and see what the difference is, right? So you have something to talk about. So you're not just trying to sell some product off a shelf that you're reading off of the bag of what the benefits are from somebody else, that you can tell somebody, I'm drinking the shake and this is what it's done for me. These are the three things that I've noticed for me. I've lost six pounds, I'm not bloated, and I have more energy in the morning. Whatever it is, you'll be able to share that. So that's why it's important to be a product of our products, right? We need to show people that they work with our own story. So drinking Shakeology is huge to that, right? And then sharing that you're drinking it daily. Next is a workout. You should be doing a Beachbody workout. There are no excuses. As a Beachbody coach, you need to incorporate a Beachbody workout into your life. And I encourage you to do one, follow the calendars, just like we teach our clients, right? From day one to day 30 or day 21, however long your program is, and commit to that, right? If you're in a gym routine, that's totally fine. You can All of our workouts are streamable. You can plug them into your phone. My sister does this all the time. She takes her phone with headphones and takes it to the gym and just listens to the workout because she's done it so many times now, she has memorized it. And if she needs a refresher, she can just quickly look and then put it back in her pocket and do her workout. So you can take the workouts to the gym. There's no excuse for you not to be doing a beach body program. And with the amount of like the variety of programs that we have, I encourage you, once you find one that you love, that's great, stick with it. But I encourage you, try the other ones so you can talk to people about what country heat really is and what three week yoga retreat is and what Tai Chi is and all of the cool, huge program library that we have. So that's part of being a product of the product. The next is following our meal plan, right? Our most successful meal plan that we have created so far is the 21 day fix meal plan or the um, portion control fix is, is interchangeably named, interchangeable name, same, same containers, same meal plan. Um, but it's the most effective meal plan we've, we've, we've found for our clients and for our coaches. And you should need to try it whether or not you feel like you, you know, need to be on it on a daily basis, I encourage you to try it so you can talk about it. Same way, the same way we talk about drinking Shakeology and doing a workout because you need to be able to talk about what you're doing. So be a product of the product. That is your second vital behavior. Our third vital behavior is inviting, right? And this actually, they actually call this invite, invite, invite. It's not just inviting. It's three invites because it is important to be talking about this business and this and the opportunity we have to help people change their lives every day. Right. The obesity epidemic in America is insane and out of control. And we have so many people to help. We have so much work to do right now. So if we if we go a day without inviting somebody, you're not you're failing somebody in your life. Right. And it's not some stranger. It's somebody in your inner circle that needs what we have. And so you have to be brave, right? That's what our this group is, is about, is helping you, train you, and getting you ready to be able to feel confident in doing this, right? You need to have confidence in our invites, right? And that's why we be the product of a product. So you have confidence when you're inviting somebody because you're not trying to scam them. You know this stuff works. It works for you. And so you're going to need to share that with them. So that is your third vital behavior is to make sure that you are personally inviting people on a daily basis to join you, right? As a coach, as a business owner, you get to decide this, right? Your coach doesn't decide how many invites you send a day. You can set a goal. For me, I kind of, I balance it out with life, right? Because I recognize that some months, like right now, this is a month where it is really family intense, right? My husband is injured. He's going to be six weeks in a sling. So he is one handed. He can't change diapers. He can't do he can't pick our daughter up. He can't really fix his own food. So I'm kind of playing nurse and stay-at-home mom and business owner. And um, I'm also helping care for my um, niece and nephews a few days a few days a week for the next few weeks. So my my, fam my life right now is family intense. So for me to sit down and say, okay, I'm going to send out 10 to 20 invites a day is not realistic for me right now. And I want to set realistic goals for me. That was my goal last month. And I'm hit that and we signed up a lot of people to join us and this month I'm going to tone my invites back a little bit to match where my life is at right so I'm going to try to send three to five a day 
for the next 30 days. And then on May 1st, I'll reevaluate again and say, okay, this month I'm ready to dive back in. My, you know, Ryan is much more, got more, much more, um, mobility and he can take care of himself a little bit more so I've got more time for me um, and to put into our business so I might challenge myself and say okay this this month I need to send you know 10 to 15 invites a day whatever it is you have to decide that for you because you are your own CEO but do not let a day go by without sending out a personal invite to somebody whether it's to a free group or to the coaching opportunity or to your next challenge group invite somebody and be also because the more that you do it the easier it gets the more confident you get in saying it the less weird and awkward it feels at, you know sometimes at first it can feel awkward um the more confidence you're going to have in doing this right so i encourage you to just get used to that habit that's what we're focusing on in this training teaching you how to personally invite um that does not include um like public invites on your social media account. We're talking about those in this group too. Those are important, but this is, I'm talking about personally inviting somebody in person on the phone, via text or via Facebook message, email, something, somebody in your life needs what we have and you have to be brave enough to invite them. So there's that. That's our, that's our third vital behavior, right? We've walked through personal development, product of the product and inviting. And our fourth vital behavior, their vital behavior is one that we actually just added this past year. Um, and it's recognition because we've re we've a uh, corporate realized how much power there is when we recognize and lift up the people around us. So this is beautiful. I love doing this, um, as a team leader with, um, a bunch of coaches on our team now, I have the ability to shout people out and recognize them when they reach a new rank advancement or, um, or when they hit a goal that they set in their business or hit success club or something like that. But as a new coach, you can still be shouting out your new coaches like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of so-and-so for you know joining our team. We're going to do awesome things together. I'm so excited to work with her. She's awesome. She's done this with her health so far. Like you have ways that you can do this publicly and personally, right? So I encourage you to recognize new coaches on your team, right? They don't have to have done anything yet. Just recognize them. Say, this girl's awesome. I'm so proud of her for, for stepping up and to um, take on this role as a coach. She's going to do amazing things, and I can't wait to watch her do it and do them with her. Right? You can recognize your challengers. Right? I love doing this. I get permission, of course, um, if I'm sharing like a photo, um, like a before and after photo or something of one of my customers. But I don't even need to do that. Sometimes I'll just post up their picture, their picture on my page and just say, this girl freaking just lost 15 pounds. Or she just rocked our challenge. She showed up every single day in our challenge group and she inspired me and kept me accountable, even as our coach. So you have ways to, to shout out and recognize everyone around you. So know that. And I do the same thing. If I see a challenger that's kind of having a rough time, one of my, you know, somebody reaches out to me. I know one of my challengers has ha like hasn't gotten her workouts in because there's something really personal going on in her life. And that's what she's focused on right now. And so it's been really hard for her to get her workouts in. I might shout her out just on a personal note and be like, you know what? This chick is freaking awesome. I love having her in my life. I've, you know, my life has been improved just by having her in our challenge groups, her positivity and, you know, e anything you want to say, just saying something positive, thinking about compliments another woman or customer in your business it's amazing because it does something for that person it helps lift them up but it also does something for you because it also makes you feel good so it makes both of you feel good it shows that person is making positive choices to their network of friends and family members and you don't know who you could help them inspire like and that's the whole purpose of this right is to get everyone feeling good about themselves getting their confidence back and we do that through recognition. So that is your four vital behaviors as a beach body coach, personal development, be a product of the product, invite, 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 and recognize. So if you can make it a habit to add those four things into your daily life, right? It's not going to be a huge overhaul, right? Personal development, that's, you know, read one chapter of a book or listen to 10 minutes of something while you're getting ready or while you're doing that load of laundry, right? Personal development, done. That's the first one. The second one is being a product of a product. Make your shake for lunch, right? You just skipped having to make lunch. Winner! And get your 30-minute workout in, and you're done, right? There's your product of a product. Our third vital behavior is invite, right? Go onto your social media. Go look at the la go look at one of your most recent posts and find three girls on there that have liked it or commented on it, and just send them an invitation. Hey, girl, thanks so much for supporting me on my fitness journey. It means so much to me. I just wanted to see, do you have something in place right now for your health and fitness? Are you taking care of you? I'm having a challenge group starting next month, and I'd love to have you. Would you be interested in hearing some details on it? Simple as that, right? Send three of those messages, and that part's done, right? If that's where whatever your goal is for invites. Send out your invites. 
And the last one is recognize. Find somebody in your circle, whether they're a customer or not. They could be your best friend. It could be anybody, a woman in your life that supports you. It could be your sponsor coach. You know, the fact that they reached out to you, they had courage to invite you to join them, you can shout them out too, right? This doesn't have to just go down to your customer base. It can just lift up a woman around you, right? That's your fourth vital behavior. If you can add those into your daily life, Ah, those small little habits are going to transform your business. I promise you, I've watched you do it for myself. I've watched you do it for countless other coaches and I can't wait to watch you do it too. So I love you guys. Congratulations for being part of this training and I wish you luck on, incorpor you don't need luck. You need determination and willpower. You got this girl. I wanna see you add these vital behaviors to your daily life because it's gonna make a huge difference. All right, I love you guys and I'll see you here in the group. Bye.